This is a banana bar. Uh, this is the parts that we receive when you open up the package. You have the base legs, the base, and the wood. This is the hardware we have. Two stabilizers, the knobs, the nuts, and some screws. You're going to need a Phillips, a 14 millimeter, and a 1 8 drill bit. Also with your drill. You're going to get one of the base legs and we're going to start installing it. But first of all, this is what you got to do. Some of the customers are saying that it gets stuck. So what you guys got to do is pull this and take it out. I'm going to show you how it gets stuck. See, right there, it's stuck. So what you do is you just pull this, move it to the side, and pull it out. Real easy. I'm going to show you again. This is how it gets stuck when it comes. Pull it, twist it to the side, and take it out. Should be real easy. Shouldn't be that hard. So you do this for both. Let's do the other one. Same thing. I showed you on the first one already, so I shouldn't show you again. You just take it out. After this, the holes are always pointing outside. Kind of like this. You see this little stick right there? Just put it to the side on both sides. And this is how we do it. You're going to get your washer and your nut. I'm bolt, you're, uh, bolt, I'm sorry. Before you tighten it up, make sure you align it. Don't tighten it up all the way. Just make sure you get both of them first. Here's the washer, here's the bolt. And you just put it and you start installing it. After it's done, get your 14 millimeter and start tightening it up. There we go. Tie it up pretty hard. Okay, that's the first one. Put it to the side. Start on the next one, same procedure. Make sure that the holes are facing out. So there we go again. After you do the base legs, you install those. Don't let it touch the ground. So just make sure they're both all the way up. And we'll do this procedure towards the end to stabilize the bar. So there's one. Okay, first thing you guys want to do is try to make sure that the water pole fits on the sidebar. If you feel that it doesn't fit, what you guys can do is we provide sandpaper, sand it real good, and also there might be some obstruction in here, so what you want to do is just kind of go in there and sand it. Once it's done, fit it. If it goes in smoothly, then you should be okay. So repeat the same side on the other sidebar. Make sure you sand it. If any sanding, sand it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And like we said, there's a sand here. If there's any obstruction, just neatly put it in here and just sand it and make sure it fits. Once it fits, you should. So now we have the knob with the set screw. As you can see, I already put the set screw in there. So what you gotta do is got one of your pliers, get the inner, hold it so it will move, and just make sure you screw it in there like this. We want to get the flat part. Let me show you how the flat part looks again. You see the threads? You see the flat? Okay, make sure that's where the screw is going to sit at. And make sure you tighten it. If you go too much, it starts moving. So make sure it's there. Once you feel that it's there, let it go and tie it up. And this is going to be done for both sides. Screw it all the way in. So 
Okay, so now we're going to install the vertical legs to the wood. So first thing you do is you grab the vertical leg, make sure you put it a little sideways, open the knob, start the joint. Don't put it towards the middle because if you do that, it's going to lock in. Let's do that on both sides first. Let's see how I opened it. Okay, now this is where the point comes from. Press a little bit because it's new, so make sure you press it in all the way in. Once it's pressed in, you do the other side. Same thing. You know? Okay, once you set the vertical legs in, make sure there's no gap here. There's no gap here, as you can see, no gaps. After that's done, Try to grab the whole vertical legs and go up and down. If you see the legs go up and down smoothly, you're doing it right. Try this a couple times. So this is good. Leave it like that. Use a drill bit with the 1 8. You drill it right here. Once it's drilled, you get your screw and you put it in. You can either use a screwdriver. Alright. You put the screw in. Tie it up real good. After it's tied up, make sure you raise it up again. Good now. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Here's the drill bit. You make the hole. After that's done, you get another screwdriver, you put the screw again. I don't know if you can see, but there's a hole right there. Nice and tight. Same procedure. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Still okay. Now you're going to do the drill hole here. And you're going to do another one here. Same procedure. So here we go. One more time. Raise it up and down and make sure it's still smooth. Okay. Now at this point, what you do is you're gonna get the for the legs straight up. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this side, and we're gonna do this side. Now it has to lock now. Now it's locked. Now you see, this is where the stabilizer comes in. After this procedure is done, make sure you get your stabilizers, and you hit the ground for a more firm. Okay. okay. As you can see, real steady. No tater totty, no nothing. Straight flushed. There we go. Okay, so this is what happens when the stabilizer is too high. As you can see right there, it's too much. You'll see this rocking side to side. That means it's wrong. You gotta do the stabilizer where it barely touches the ground or where you know it's gonna be straight. Let me show you how it is. Here's the stabilizer as you guys can see. Moving it. See? There it is. No rocking or nothing. Straight up. Once you have your stabilizer ready, you have a screw here. Make sure you put this on that way you don't scratch yourself. Do that. Lock it in. That's all you gotta do. Maybe tie it up a little bit. And that's it. Now, to raise up the bar to the size that you need, I think the best thing to do is kick your feet in and raise it. Now, you could go up to five holes. Say you want it there. This is what you do. You kick it straight. 
you kick this one straight, locked already. It's locked. After that, this is a double action knob. Once it's done, and that's the height you want, make sure you screw this in. So you can see. Screw it in nice and tight. Same thing on the other side. Screw it in nice and tight. Now, see it nice and steady. And this thing will hold pretty much, as you can see, a couple hundred pounds. It's real steady. Zip that back down, do the same thing. You unturn the knob first, on both sides. And we're gonna do the same action as I told you, but this time we're gonna kick them in just to get this thing go down. So you hit the knob, hit it to the side, hit the knob, kick it in. Now the good thing about this bar, it's real easy to save it under your bed, behind your TV. So what you do is just kick them all the way straight. Okay, so for our new generation two, which we have here, we added three things. We added the caps, we added this bracket for more stability, and we also added an extra hole, which is here. If you guys can see it, it's right there. So now this hole is for easy storage. <clears throat> Once you're done, you can flip it this way. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And you could just store it in its location. There it is. <clears throat> Once it gets that hole, you better carry it to wherever you gotta go. You could put it away behind your bed, anywhere where it's not in your way. <clears throat> so now, we're gonna put it back together. And remember, these brackets that we added, it's for more stability. Now we recommend you could add the stability either this way, inside, or outside. We recommend for more stability to add it outside, but if you guys do have room, <coughs> just leave it outside. And if you guys don't, you guys should just leave it inside. So let me show you what the stability looks like. We're gonna leave it outside. Just remember, make sure that the knobs are always outside. <coughs> Reason being is that if you guys do leave them inside, you might have an accident. <coughs> you might guys hit yourself or something. So just leave it outside, find its location, and you'll be able to, to leave it.